Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I am excited to see what else is in store for me. And I also wanted to see, yeah, I just wanted to see what is on the ye old file select screen. I now have a, a green glowing leaf. Yes, yes, and two eagles. I guess they're keeping track of that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It, it pooped me over... I don't think this was... Was this where I saved last? I don't remember that. Anyway... <laughs> Day 2 of recording, and I thought what I should do is take a look-see over at ye old guy and red bandana guy, see if there's a side quest or maybe dealio. Nah, I guess it's not, not quite ready to go just yet, at least with that, at least I think so. Yeah, yeah, okay, and the other thing that I'd like to check out really quick before I start my first real deal round, although I don't know if it's gonna be 9 or 18 holes, we'll see about that, or maybe it'll be 6 holes, I don't know, this game is, it breaks traditions of golf. <laughs> the other thing is that I would like to see uh, what happens if you hit one of the moles, so... Or can I hit, okay, I can hit one of the moles, there we go, I'll, hit, I'll do it like... There you go, like a little bit back, yeah, that'll do, and I'll aim, oh shoot, I didn't, hey wait, you can press B to cancel that, I'm sure I tried doing that before, and I tried to get out of that mini game type dealio, anyway, maybe I should actually leave it at that, and just let it bounce into the mole, and see how things go, wow, that was perfect, and, oh, somehow missed the mole, I know that you're gonna do something with my ball that I won't like, but, uh, uh, that, that's that, that's not the idea that I'm going for here. I want to actually hit the mole. I'm sorry, mole. I'm sorry. Wait, what am I going way over there for? Man, 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 man. Okay. <laughs> and I guess I didn't play for enough wind on my first shot there. Uh, oh, it just goes right through them. Okay. So I guess you cannot hit the moles whatsoever. And they are just there to do whatever they want to do with your ball. Whenever your ball lands in their red territory. Alright, so Pro Shop. I can now get myself set up with a round of golf. At least I think. What is this? Oh, for disc golf. Uh, I guess I'll save that for later. Oh, that could be useful though. <laughs> uh, wait, how? How? Wait, hold on a sec. A frisbee? Or I should say a set of frisbees is eleven dollars, but a set of like eight irons, literally made of metal, fifteen dollars. Clubs are cheap, but discs are well, they're about average. <laughs> Which one of these drivers hits the longest? I don't know. I don't know. But can I actually drop a ball? I can actually wow, really? <laughs> you can actually try the practice screen. Look at that. Ah, oh, poopers. <laughs> I overhit that for sure, but alas, alas, I can have limited shots at it! Yay! Yay! Oh, I get nothing for that. That is, that is disappointing. And I cannot tee it up any closer, can I? Can I actually tee up and hit the guy? Like just, no, uh, maybe, I don't know. Well, let's, I think it's, I think I'm inside a box. <laughs> yeah, I'm inside a box, dang it! Oh wait, oh, I mean that was, that was all planned, all together. <laughs> Welcome to Well Worn Grove. I think I'm gonna save my money on the clubs. Just because I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to get a low enough score to impress the coach. I wonder what's up with that coach, actually. Why he's such a ball buster. <laughs> At least just to me. Maybe he knew my dad and he had a falling out with him. Or something like that. You can play a nine hole round? Not sure why you'd want to, though. <laughs> Of course, it's in terrible sheep at the moment. <laughs> yes, I would like to. And it doesn't appear to cost me anything. <laughs> it's, such, it's in such bad condition, they, they're like, you know what, you can just play for free. Go right on ahead. That's probably how people are just able to walk around, just mess around on the chorus, do whatever they want to. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna hit over to the middle of the fairway, hopefully, well, I should say right middle of the fairway because the green is off to the right side. I do believe we played this hole before, and so we will play it again, hopefully with as much eagerliness as I did the first time. 8-iron, 
Please stop next to the hole, or at least in the hole. That would be lovely. Thank you. Oh, uh, uh, it bounced over this time. Oh, oh, I see. Um, I see. When I was editing the video, you see there's slope slight down in that direction at the upper right corner. So yeah, I guess there is so it's a little bit of slope on some greens, but not all the greens. <laughs> Oh wow, that actually had a lot of slope. I didn't really realize that it would be that bad. <laughs> because it says slope slight, so I, so I moved it slightly to the left of the hole. Well, at my character's angle. That's okay. That's okay. That's what I mean about the this the idea of this walkthrough is that you've gotta you gotta kind of feel out things when you're learning the game. You can still perform well, but maybe you won't get a world record on your first attempt or something like that. But you can still play it well as long as you are just thinking things through. Maybe I should have. Oh no! I was gonna say maybe I should have gotten those irons because that was a little bit. Uh, uh, because that was a little bit shorter if I would have drove the green in one shot. Anyway, I'd like to kind of do a little gentle pitch shot over here. Or just kind of do... Oops. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, well, uh... I can't... I'm trying to... Like, is the shadow more accurate than my colored line there? That's, that's what's kind of confusing me here. <laughs> um... Anyway, I gotta get out of that mode first. Okay, let's go back to that, and we're gonna. I'm gonna assume that's gonna be okay. Go in the hole, yeah! Ah, oh, it didn't roll out as much as I thought it would. That is okay. Maybe I should have putted that though, actually. Uh, just a little doop a doop. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping to get that chip in there because of said eagle opportunity, but oh well, but oh well. See, I, I, I knew those eagles had to have been a fluke, because that just seemed crazy. <laughs> Alrighty, so, 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 I don't want to go that far, that's, that's just asking for water. Uh, that should roll outside of the mole's territory, so I should be okay as the- oh! <laughs> See, that's the whole learning process of the golf physics. That's okay, though. We are doing all right. It's a par five. Wait, why is he choosing a driver on... Actually, the driver looks like it is the better shot. And are you standing in the water? I know that's not illegal, and I've seen people on the pro tour do that, but... <laughs> just, just... You don't really see that in even in video games all that often. <laughs> all right, so... Do -do -do -do. Precision mode, it'll just land it like right there. I think that looks good. I would say hopefully, maybe. I'm, yes, I did move it to the right as you've seen, playing for the wind. Not enough to the right though. That's a awkwardly shaped green, by the way. <laughs> like imagine if the the green was in the back, I mean the, the hole is in the back right, and then you hit to the le uh, left side due to high wind or something like that. How would you putt through that? You'd have to chip it over the... Yeah. <laughs> but that is okay. Anyway, I'm still shooting one under par. Even with the water. That's another thing about golf, is that even if you have one bad shot, don't panic, because the next shot you do could very well be the best shot of your entire life. At least for all you know. <laughs> So, never panic, just go for the shots, or just punch out if you need to, and see how things go. <laughs> uh, well, hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go right there. That's, ooh, that was perfect, that was perfect. Okay, I just wanna hit it into the rough, sorta kinda dunk out the speed of its landing, and I also hit the pin, that helped a lot too. Alright, birdie chance. So I just need a little tappy tap. Yeah! Woo! New birdie badge! New birdie badge! I'm probably gonna go for all the birdie badges in the game eventually, or birdie or eagle badges, I don't know. Just at the very least, I'd like to get a badge on every hole. Because that, that reminds me of getting them all in Mario Golf. 
So yeah, yeah, that that feels more 100%y to me. <laughs> like at least getting a birdie on one of the holes. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh, you stinker! <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it it moved it forward a little bit, so I got more distance out of that technically. But I'm in the bunker, and that's not pretty. <laughs> Because I don't think I can. Yeah, the, the woods are not gonna not gonna cut it there. I guess I could hit over to this side and then up. Oh, yeah, the green is over there, right? Yeah, it always it always seems to point you as to where the green is. So I'll just hit out to that portion of the fairway and then oh, that was bad. And then I'll get a fat chunk of green to land my ball on. Sound good? I think it does. Yeah. Mm, how much will this roll out? That is the question. I'm going to assume it will roll out about that much. Okay, okay. Oh, that was too much. <laughs> That's what I mean about getting the hang of everything. Oh, you might not get it right away, but oh, as practice comes, you can get it. Uh, wait, what do I want to do here? Like, wait. Uh, I'm gonna go like way, 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 way back over there. E -e. Okay, that looks good. Can I get the chip in? Can I? Yeah, baby! <laughs> Whew. See? Never panic if you do a bad shot. There's always, always the possibility of recovering. And so far, no bogeys. <laughs> um, 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 well, judging from my rollout, I could probably get it past that mole territory hole. So, oh shoot. Well, maybe not with a shot like that. Let's see. Ooh, oh, oh, go, go, go. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so it's probably gonna just stick me in the bunker again. Then we'd have a bad time. Uh, uh, hmm. uh, yeah, like, I got like two in-betweens, depending on if I hold ZL or ZR. See that? ZL. ZR. ZL. ZR. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's ZR is the way to go with this one. Uh, oh, wait, no, no, no. Uh, okay. So I'm just gonna move it. Oh, no, no, wait, wait. I'm gonna move it that way a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna try for that chip in, I suppose. Here we go. Oh, boy. Yo! Get in that uh, cup! Oh. <laughs> Thought I could have got another eagle there, but I most certainly can get a birdie. Yeah! Woo! Woo! I say woo! Three more holes to go, and then we'll see what Mr. Ball Smusher has to say after I shoot my, or at least I probably will, shoot my under, uh, under par round. He can't complain if I shoot under par, right? I mean, that would seem really, really weird. <laughs> Because under par is like pro level of <laughs> in real life at least, very, very few people can shoot under par. Um let's see here. I'm gonna go back over there and hope that it won't roll all the way off the green with the six iron. Yeah, that was close. <laughs> Alright. Slope slightly to my right, so I'll aim out over there's. Oh wait, wait, hold on a sec. Can I? Oh, I, oh yeah, I can do precision mode with this too. Uh, when it comes to putting, I generally, at least in in most golf games, I should say. I don't know about this one. I would generally like to hit past the hole a decent amount to take out a lot of the break of the shot. So that's about what I'm aiming for per se. Oh, that was way too hard, but it still works. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Thanks to the extra large hole area, I guess. And hole number eight. We're off. Yeah, the course is definitely not in the best of shape. I'll give them that. <laughs> Got some bare ground going on over here. Uh, I'm gonna play it way back from that, assuming that my rollout will not take me in the water like it did that other time. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I just didn't want to get in the bear ground either, because that's another awkward lie, at least it would be in real life golf. I don't know about this game of golf, I could probably work with it in this game of golf. 
<laughs> I, hit the, I under hit that a little bit, but I might get away with it because of the... Yeah, because it'll still get on the green with the forward bounce. Hmm, Kidoki. And, and, and... I don't I don't even think I need to go into precision mode for that. I'll just double tap. <laughs> yeah, looking good. Looking good. That, he, there's no way he could complain about the scorecard. <laughs> there's just no way. <laughs> All right, the big hole. Oh, the finale of 422.7 yards. Okay, maybe it's not that big, but what was? It? Didn't I see an island like over? Yeah, there was an island up there. That must be like for the extra long drivers or something like that. I do not have that long of drive just yet, but I I presume that my character will get a much larger drive as I go though. So. Yeah, we'll see if I can reach that island in future plays of this course, and chances are I will be replaying this course in the future. But for now, oh, that's actually a pretty good position. Uh, oh my, Arceus, look at this weird green. <laughs> I guess I should hit it into the rough so that it dulls the speed of which it rolls out, and then hopefully it'll land next to the hole. Maybe, might be, could be, let's try it. Yeah, oh, nope, didn't dull it enough. <laughs> oh, that's deep rough, wow. Uh, well, well, let's see what we got here. Oh, that's actually going to hit the pin. Yeah, it'll do a little bit over to that side. Maybe I can do the chip in. Maybe I can do the chip in. Go! I believe in you, ball. I believe in you. Oh, I lost faith in you. <laughs> I'm hitting you in the water later. <laughs> Woo! That's still a pretty good card, I'd say, for my first round. Yes, yes. What is the X button for change anyway? Oh, it's just, I uh, was just saying, yeah. It's, this, it's basically the same thing, only it's more simplified when you're on this screen. Like, if you're minus one of power, like say on hold two, you've got a three. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty simple like that. One under par is a birdie, two under par is an eagle, uh, three under par, albatross. There's also, I guess you could say, hole in ones, which are two under pars in on themselves on uh, par threes, or three under pars in on themselves on hole fours. But, well, but well, all you need to know is really this stuff. <laughs> all right. I did indeed succeed. And I was, at, yeah, they paid me to play this course. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so I will consider that a success, and maybe I really should buy these clubs. Yay! <laughs> you know what, I could also buy the discs too, <laughs> not frisbees. <laughs> sure, sure, I'll, I'll probably end up having to buy them later on anyway. Uh, wanna play around? No, I'm gonna go back over... <laughs> yes, yes, I see. <laughs> So I'm gonna go back over to ye old coach man, which I do believe should still be maybe in here. <laughs> oh wait, hello. Wait your turn. Well, I never. Okay, I know. I didn't even know what I was going for there. Wait, wait, what? He's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm a pro. I won't compete for a club of miscreants. Well, that's awfully rude. You told me this place was improving. That wasn't that bad, I shot under par. Come on, Max, just hear me out. Your presence will attract a higher class of members. Members who will pay membership fees. A portion of which will eventually find its way into your pockets. What about for course improvement, though? You've really let this course go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just look at the caliber of the people you have here. Mm, you talking about us, mate? <laughs> Who else are you talking about? <laughs> mate, I've got a robot vacuum cleaner. What? I read an audio book a week, mate. Congratulations to both of you. <laughs> I don't know what those two, those two, what they said have anything to do with. Well, I guess they're trying to. So that they're higher class, maybe? I don't know. I was never here. And there thus he goes. I'll just I'll probably end up beating him later. What was that about? Oh, it's you again. That was Max Yards from the Pro Tour. I was giving him the chance to represent us. In what? 
the owner of Lurker Valley and I have a little competition each year, so Lurker Valley is probably the next place that I'll be going to next. We each bring our best prospects to compete in challenges. Give me the deal! I'll represent Well Run Grove. But coach tells me you show no promise. Oh, I'll show you promise. Take a look at my scorecard. Oh, really? <laughs> what do you say to this scorecard? Let's have a look. Hmm. It's okay. Five under par, and he says it's okay. Actually, fine, I tell you what. Maybe you could do something for us. Go to Lurker Valley and do a bit of snooping. Find something that will give us an edge in the comp. Competition. Lurker Valley. <laughs> oh my. Is it time to venture beyond Wellworn Grove? This is scary. I won't let this club down. Whew. New story quest. Oh, you are really cool. Oh wait, aren't you the one that hits everyone in the face? I mean, it it's great you're coming along. Oh, uh, hello there. I heard you skiing with Lucky in there. I can't have you getting any extra training in without me. I'm going to win the comp myself. Because unlike you, I actually earned my way onto the team. Have you shot five under par? Something tells me I very much doubt that. Okay, let's go. I'll meet you there. Okie dokie. So, oh wait, what about this computer now that she's away from it? I wouldn't know where to begin with one of these. Oh, you still, still can't use it. I bet you this is like some sort of handicap calculator in the future or something like that. Anyway, let's see if they have more dialogue going on here. You posted a pretty good score. Oh, now finally you praise me. But anyone can have a decent nine holes. Oh, ball busting again. <laughs> Don't go causing trouble. Go do some stupid and look at rally for me. Can I talk to you at all? I cannot talk. I can't really. Can I check your clubs? No. Can I steal your clubs? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, nothing. 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 Nothing new. How about you? Got anything new here? I don't need help. I can cook the pies myself. Can I get another pie? I'll leave some for somebody else. Okay. Okay. So it looks like that I seemingly have exhausted all the things that I can do right now over here at Wellworn Grove because I don't think anything has changed and I don't think that there is going to be any new side quests if I take a look-see around here really quick. Oh, the sand! Look at that! The sand actually slows me down a little. That actually makes sense. <laughs> Uh, I don't need any more lessons. Okay, you got the same dialogue you probably got. Uh, how'd you do that? See, up same dialogue. So basically, I'm just gonna wander around here really quick and look for people with dotted lines. Ha! Ah! Dang! And look for people with dotted lines above their head, maybe. Could be, maybe. Nah, it doesn't really look like that there's anything new or anything like that. So it looks like that this is. Oh, wait. I just noticed something. The music changes next to the boombox! Yeah! Yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah! So with this high note, I, I guess you could say, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I check out a whole new area! Probably. Unless there's gonna be some other quest that I didn't find or something like that. I don't know. <laughs>